Welcome back in at 644. The recent deaths of American tourists in the Dominican Republic have some travelers rethinking their vacation plans. WMAR 2 News Mallory Safaste looks at the numbers and whether that country is becoming a more dangerous place to visit because if it matters to you, it's a matter for Mallory. We asked the question on Facebook, in light of the news of people dying at resorts in the Dominican Republic, would you cancel your trip? Many said yes. Others blamed the media for blowing it out of proportion. So we looked into that claim and compared the DR to other vacation destinations. I feel like I've had the same conversation 150 times this week. Sarah Klein is coordinating 10 weddings in the Dominican Republic. When her brides started hearing that American tourists were dying, she got a lot of calls. We had one wedding change to Jamaica, we had a family reunion change to Mexico. Understandably so, there have been at least eight recorded American deaths in the Caribbean country just this year, the latest happening last week. Families have shared stories about their seemingly healthy loved ones dying at resorts. A Maryland couple seen kayaking on vacation didn't wake up a few days later. The FBI is assisting in several of the death investigations. And on Friday, Dominican Republic officials tried reassuring visitors that the recent deaths were from natural causes and the incidents are isolated. And the one thing we're trying to con you know, tell everybody is Nothing really has changed. Numbers from the State Department support that American deaths in the DR have declined from 20 deaths in 2015 to 13 last year. Among those, the number one cause of death in the last four years was drownings, followed by car accidents. Compared to other tourist destinations, unnatural deaths in the DR are actually less common. Nearly 200 people died in Mexico last year followed by 24 deaths in Costa Rica, 17 Americans passed away in Jamaica, and the Dominican Republic trails with 13. My main thing is I want my clients to be safe and happy. However, she's worried the bad press could perpetuate fears of traveling out of the country. You have those people who are on the fence anyway, who don't like to come out of their comfort zone of their own home and their own environment, and then you know, you add all these scary things that may happen to you and that may make them just pull back and not see the world. The State Department sent us a statement saying they haven't seen an uptick in deaths being reported in the country. However, Americans do need to be careful. The travel advisory is at a two out of four because of violent crime in the area. The agency also sent us a list of what Americans should do before traveling abroad. You can see that checklist on our website, WMAR2news.com slash Matter for Mallory. And if you have a matter for Mallory, she'd love to hear from you. You can email her at Mallory at WMAR.com.